Hi, I'm David, and I have the Q4 answer. Well, we recommend regular on-the-fly feedback with your direct reports. A conversation like this is better served with a more formal coaching discussion. Using the five-step format conversation will start you off on the right track and make sure neither person goes off course. Avoid Q1 behaviors like over-controlling the conversation. Try not to use a harsh tone or be overly directive. Don't jump to conclusions. Q2 behavior won't solve the problem either. Ignoring Daniel's dip in performance will not make the issue go away. And Q3 behavior, being overly friendly, might lift Daniel's spirits in the short term, but like Q2, in the long term, it will not change the root of the situation. The most effective coaches use Q4 behaviors. Start with questions and probe to promote self-discovery. Open-ended questions in particular could help Sam discover why the quality of Daniel's work has declined. Closed-ended or leading questions can feel accusatory or critical in a conversation like this. And if Daniel feels like he's being backed into a corner, he could shut down. But receptivity rises with open-ended questions, making Daniel an active participant in thinking about how to improve his own performance. It is tempting to develop solutions for your direct reports, but resist the urge. Instead, increase buy-in by encouraging Daniel to create his own plan. The Q4 leader's behavior is to provide guidance, making sure the plan has specific goals and dates, and to get commitment to follow through. By using the five-step format to plan feedback and by probing for the other person's input, the Q4 manager will encourage receptivity, increasing true commitment and execution.